guys, Dulos here. A quick video for you on the Asus C201 Chromebook. This one is the rose gold, <laughs> the red slash lotus gold, I think is what they call it. Although it's uh, definitely attempted being uh, the trendy rose gold color. So this is my wife's new Chromebook. I keep wanting to calling it a netbook, but there's plenty of great review videos out there that we look for and uh, read some good reviews on it for the price point. Um, you know, the processor is maybe a little underpowered, but it's got four gigs of RAM, fast Wi-Fi. Uh, it's definitely light, it's two pounds, nice form factor and all that good stuff. 13 hour battery is really one of the key selling points, but it's got this really nice looking color to it. And I didn't see any good videos of it, even on the uh, Asus or Asus website here on YouTube or other places, there was really no good video. So this video, not really a full review, but just something to get a good look at what the hardware is and what the color is. And I'll try and make sure post-production matches color as close as possible. So this is the back of the Chromebook. I keep wanting to call it a netbook, but it's a Chromebook as you can see. The color is very um, silverish. There is a slight uh, red hue to it, so it's not straight silver. It's not really gold. It's not really bronze. It's almost like if you took silver and maybe you hit the gold and a little bit of red in there, you'd get this color. It says Asus and this chromish sticker. Well, it's not sticker, but lettering that's kind of embossed into the back. And then the chrome logo is in there. And you can barely read chrome at the top. All right, so there's no clasp on the hinge. It just opens up. Pretty decent um, resistance in the hinge. Black bezel here doesn't seem too big. Nice red fade from a deep red through to this lotus gold color, whatever they're calling it. Little Asus logo, camera light. I'm sorry, camera light and microphone. Um, keyboard's not bad, especially for their price point. Little chiclet style, decent response. Um, not backlit or anything. Trackpad is very nice, smooth. Trackpad seems to be a solid red while the case has a fade to it. And then this is some sort of textured plastic. From what I understand, the screen is very glossy and glare and I can see that. So outdoor use is probably not recommended, at least in direct sunlight. All right, so on the right side, there's two USB 2.0 ports, not 3.0, 2.0. On the left side, you've got headphone, mini HDMI, SD card reader, and your power port. All right, so this is the bottom. Got some speakers going on and regular screws all around. They're not doing anything to hide those. But I don't know they expect anything more at this price point. It's very light, very light, two pounds, they say. Um, the size is nice. The weight distribution is nice, even when it's opening. It's definitely weighted a little more towards the back. Obviously, when you have the screen up, that's just the way things work. Um, but it's definitely nice and comfortable and light. And we'll see how it holds up. So I hope this color is readable on screen and gives you a little help if you're trying to get a better idea of what this thing actually looks like. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, favor, subscribe. May God bless you and keep standing up for what's right. Starting to feel like a Mac commercial right now. Except I didn't just pay $1,000 for a MacBook Air.